is the junior senator from Ohio with only two years in government. But J.D. Vance is one of former President Trump's biggest defenders. I want to help Donald Trump get elected because it's really important that he become the next president. In the Senate. How can we defend Ukraine's borders when we're not even defending our own American border? And on the campaign trail. So the question is, are we going to send America first fighters to Washington, D.C.? He's one of the leading voices of Trump's MAGA America First movement, not holding back and pushing the former president's agenda. See, Republicans, we need to govern like we won the majority the American people gave us, not like a bunch of cowards. New faces. But that hasn't always been so the case. Exactly. This was Vance in 2016. Right. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. And he was I've, deeply I've, I've critical of Trump a, then. But here's Vance just six years later. The president is right. I wasn't always nice, but the simple fact is he's the best president of my lifetime, and he revealed the corruption in this country like nobody else. Running for Senate in 2022 in Ohio as an extremely pro-Trump candidate. Uh, I was wrong about Donald Trump. I didn't think he was going to be a good president, Brett. He was a great president. Vance shot the fame as the author of Hillbilly Elegy, a memoir about his upbringing in a poor, hard-hit part of Ohio. He then enlisted in the Marines, went to Yale Law School and to venture capital, and then to the Senate, his first role in government. On the major issues, Vance has said he would support a national ban on abortion after 15 weeks, but is for exceptions, including for rape and the life of the mother. On immigration, Vance has called for finishing Trump's southern border wall. And on the issue of the 2020 presidential election, then-Senate candidate Vance suggested he would have supported fraudulent slates of pro-Trump electors. If I had been vice president, I would have told the states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, and so many others that we needed to have multiple slates of electors, and I think the U.S. Congress should have fought over it from there. That is Now, the father of two, just 39 years old, after not even a full two years in government, is set to step onto the biggest political stage in the world.